Hello, everybody. Good evening. Now we are ready to start our last session in which we will try to speak as much as possible with our English level. Thank you for all the time that you studied, that you practiced, that you included some comments, some observations, some remarks, some suggestions. Thank you, everybody, for your preference for your attention. Today we will uh, do a little review. No nos alcanza mucho tiempo para sería un, un repaso más grande. Pero uh, a ver, comentemos. But I think it will not be necessary. Uh, the format, the format of your presentation was on a word document. So your presentation can start something like this. You can say, for instance, um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is, and you are going to practice uh, according to your level of preparation or your topic. That is uh, the first practice that you will do. For example, this is the tip. These are the tips that I send you describing a place. Good morning or good evening. In this case, good evening, everyone. Good evening, my classmates. First, let me introduce myself. My name is uh, Juanito de los Palotes, and uh, I am from La Paz, Bolivia. I live in Sopocachi. I want to talk about, uh, I want to talk about Cobija. I would like to talk about the most beautiful city in Bolivia, which is Cobija. Second part. The second part is like this, you know, the content or description. This city, the city of Cobija, is very interesting, lovely, small, but very hot. There is a river. The river's name is River Santa Elena, for example. The place, Cobija, is very interesting, and there are a lot of things to do. You can go to the discotheques, you can go to the river, you can go to the mountains, you can fish, you can eat good food, and there is a lot to do. Cobija is one of the most beautiful places, places or cities in Bolivia. Uh, Cobija is to the north. Cobija is to the north of Bolivia. The weather is very, very hot and humid in Bolivia. It's never cold. The most important attractions in Cobija are the main square, are the frontier with Brazil, and the little town called uh, La, La Facha. And the restaurants are very good too. Okay. Good. Then you can talk about the people and the food. For, for, for instance, you can say something like this. The people in this city are very friendly. The people are enthusiastic. They like parties. They like the music. They like dancing and drinking, dancing and drinking. The girls are very beautiful. The, girl, the boys are, are very tall and Generally, all the people are happy in this city. Food. The food is, okay, the food is so-so. There is fish, there is meat. There, there are some typical, uh, typical dishes in this city. We can eat fish. You can, you can eat, uh, for example, uh, platano seco or bananas. The typical drink here in Cobija is, well, I don't know, you know. I like, I like the beer, I like the beer, I like uh, drinks that are in, in this city that are very delicious here. To finish, you can say something like this, you know. Uh, Cobija is an exciting and very prosperous city. This city is like the flagship for the future of Bolivia. I love this city because the, the people are very nice and the weather is very hot. 
please come and visit Cobija because the city is full of of the of future of uh, touristic attractions and a lot to do. Thanks for your attention. Goodbye. Good night. That's all. You know, this is just one simple example of what you can do. Now, this is your turn. Do you have any questions, please? No questions? Okay, good. Good. Excellent. I will stop sharing. Now you are. Oh, hello, everybody with the cameras. That's different, huh? I, I know Fernanda, Bernardine is there, Maria del Pilar. Excellent. Huh? It's very different to see you. You are beautiful people. So, you know, why, why are you with the, like, the cameras canceled all the time? Okay, good. Are you ready? Do you have any questions now for the final presentation? No questions? Teacher, una consulta. Esa presentación tiene que ser en el mismo formato en el que nos los acaba de describir de o solamente vamos a elegir una de cada uno? It depends on you. Todo eso es, son ideas. Ideas ah, yeah. que habíamos puesto en práctica, ¿no? Pueden decirlas todas o pueden decir parte de ellas o pueden aumentar inclusive más. Eso ya depende porque va a subir la grabación también eh, con un formato. Ya ustedes pueden mostrar fotos, pueden hacer algo. Lo importante, y esto se está grabando, mis estimados amigos, es que demostremos nuestro nivel y que no tengamos miedo a decir lo que queremos decir sobre un lugar. Ok, so I repeat the instructions. First, you, I will assign break groups of three people. Grupos de tres. Ok, take turns, tomen turnos para poder practicar un ratito un poco, otro poquito el otro así. No, no hagan toda la presentación, se, va, se van a aburrir. ¿no? Ok, so take turns and then you exchange people. At the end, you will give me the presentation. Aquí y al final, ya me dan la presentación a todo el grupo en general para que nosotros podamos ver a la persona que está haciendo su disertación ya en limpio. Y esto seguramente va a ser como una lección para grabarla posteriormente en el flip grid que quedará ya como constancia de que lo hicieron muy bien. Ok, very good. No more questions. I will assign breakout eh, rooms. Teacher, yes, sir. Yes, yes. Una pregunta. Eh, para la exposición de, de, del, del examen, ¿puedo hacer luego algo, digamos, relacionado a mi trabajo? No problem. Lo que necesito es que hablen con el nivel que tienen. En vano, en vano, digamos, usaríamos un, un caudal de palabras so now we will continue with our practice and that's it. Now, here, do you want to start in alphabetical order or at random? Mm, a la suerte. No. Okay, at random, at random. Okay, so. At random. Again, yes, at random is yeah based on luck here we are um richard do you have any questions about this no questions for vocabulary or anything okay so i will say that one is going to be numbers um please when you give your presentation don't be too too long because I can cut you. Puede ser que también les interrumpa y les corte durante la presentación para hacerles alguna pregunta. Eso indica que su presentación va a ser de todo, del todo natural. Ok. So I'm going to assign numbers. Numbers, numbers here. Ok. Here are four. Ready. Okay, good. How many are you? 
18. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, I will assign you the numbers. You got here, you are 18. Good, okay. I will have my numbers mixed on my paper. Porque no me acuerdo donde está el... el El, la lotería en, en línea, pero ya tengo mis números listos. Ok. So I will change it, I will drop it, and I will share my number. Well, your name is here. According to your name, we have here number 16. Number 16 is Next to number 16 is Mary Nina. Mary Nina is here. Mary Nina is here. Okay, so Mary is not here. Consequently, this means that there is no point, no presentation, zero. Next to Mary is, on the alphabetical order, is Grover. Grover. Is Grover here? Yes? Yes, teacher, present. Okay, Grover. You are the one next to... Good. Yes, yeah, please. Now, Claudio, Karen, Nancy, Sandra, Richard, you can open your cameras. Pueden abrir sus cameras para ver que están prestando atención. Okay, thank you very much. Go. Go, Grover, please. Yes, teacher. Good evening, teacher and classmates. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Grover Palma. I want to talk about the Potosi city of Pot and like to talk about the Casa Nacional of Moneda of Bolivia. Okay. The city is most beautiful. The Casa Nacional of Moneda of Bolivia, it is a museum, an historical archive located in the department of Potosi, founded in, in 1572. It's really interesting, and there are lots of things to do there. It's one of the most beautiful cities in Bolivia. The water is cold and dry, it's mud for the department. The most important attraction are Casa Nacional of Moneda, Cedro Rico, and Cathedral of Potosi. The people in this city are very friendly and respectful. The food is very delicious. The typical dish is cazuela. The typical drink is garapiña. It is considered an elixir prepared from the combination of chicha and canela. You can also so, drying chicha of maize. Potosi was declared a, a World Heritage site by UNESCO. It's cute paradise. Good visit. Oh. Thank you for listening to me. Goodbye. Teacher. Okay, very good. One minute. One minute. Les voy a dar aproximadamente un minuto. Si es que hay alguna razón por las cuales darles, darles un poco más de tiempo, eh, vamos a voy a darles, pero en promedio les estoy dando un minuto. That's why I showed you. Por eso es que les estaba mostrando el reloj. Okay, very good. Now, the next number. Thank you, Grover. Your presentation was clear and sharp. Yeah, the next number is number three. Number three. Number three is Bernardina. Good. Good evening, friends. This age may introduce myself. My name is Bernardina Cayampi. I live in the city of Potosi. This time, I like to talk about the city of Potosi. It is a city of Sunday in Bolivia. 
It is the capital of the Thomas Frias province and the department of Potosi. The city is beautiful and is declared a world heritage site by UNESCO. The west of the city of Potosi is quite cool. The main economic activity in the city of Potosi is mining. The most important attraction are the Casa de la Moneda, the Cerro Rico, where you will know how to live inside a man, the Church of San Lorenzo de Carangas, the Plaza 10 de Noviembre, and the Santa Teresa Convent Mission. The people Stop. in this city Stop. very sad. Thank you. Very good. Karen, what city was Bernardina talking about? Karen, what city is Ber was Bernardina talking about? Sorry? What to see? Yeah, what, uh, what is one important attraction of the city that Bernardina mentioned? Okay, thank you. Next person. Para asegurarme que están prestando atención, obviamente le voy a hacer al azar también una pregunta a cualquiera de las personas. Number 10, Max. Max is not here. Max is not here. So the next after Max is Alison. Alison Vigeron is here. Alison? No, Alison is not here. The next person after Alison is Roger. Roger. Roger is not here. Oh, I have a lot of absences. Okay, I will put this away. Next number. The next number is number five. Number five, Nancy. Nancy, Nancy is here, right? Yes, Nancy is here or not? Yes, no, teacher. Oh, yes, you are Nancy. Yes, okay, here you are. Nancy, make in your, your presentation, please. Yeah. Uh, good evening, the, the friends. Please, let me introduce, let me introduce myself. My name is Nancy Davalos. I want to talk about of City La Paz. Uh, the city is which I like is one of the wonders of the world. Uh, the, the anniversary of the city La Paz is July 16. The climate is varied according to the region. For example, the Yungas uh, have a warm climate and in the beautiful, it has very attractive mountains. mountains. Uh, the, the main is square uh, are the Plaza Murillo and the Plaza Mayor and the immense buildings uh, with the snow cap y money. The typical food uh, is uh, plato paseño, chairo, fricase, very varied and of the, of the are delicious. Uh, Stop. Uh, <laughs> Stop. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Nancy. Good. Now, please tell me, Edwin, Edwin, can you tell me what is the anniversary of this city? 
of the city uh, that Nancy mentioned? 16 of July. Of July. July the 16th. Cada, cada clase, cada, um, cada observación que hacemos también sigue siendo aprendizaje. It is July the 16th, the anniversary of La Paz is July the 16th. Now, Edwin, can you tell me what important square did Nancy mention? What important square did Nancy mention? Uh, a square I yeah she mentioned Plaza Murillo Murillo Square yes Murillo Square uh -huh. next number is number 12 number 12 is Roger Roger is not here next number is Wilson no and next number is Grover is Grover here Yes, brother. Oh, no, he already presented, right? Yes. Karen, please, Karen. Karen Vanessa, your turn. On the other hand, I love to travel. A specific place I like to go, I like to travel Copacabana uh, with my family. I like to share with them. Uh, there are many uh, specific places. For example, Isla Island of the Moon, Basilica of Our Lady Copacabana. Um, Poncho Museo and um, Island of the Sun. Those places are, are beautiful. Also, I, I relax and enjoy in that place. On the other hand, I like to eat fish. I love to eat fish. Also, my, my mother likes to eat and my father too. Uh, um, finally, I like to travel uh, to Cochabamba because I like to eat uh, chicharrón. Chicharrón and pancho too. And Stop. going. Thank you. The question now is for, let's see if you make more points or if you lessen your points. Daisy, what two important places did Karen mention? What two important places did Karen mention? The Isla, la Isla de la Luna, la Isla del Sol, y también el otro no se escucha bien. Okay, and did she mention another department? Zipi? Did she mention another department? No, no. <laughs> okay. Next number. Number 11. Jonathan. Jonathan, begin your presentation, please. Go. Good evening, classmates. Let me introduce myself. My name is Jonathan Morales. I would like to talk about Tarija. This city is very friendly, is very warm. It is one of the most beautiful cities of Bolivia. It was a many provinces where you can go as a tourist. Uh, the population is very cordial and friendly. It's always uh, help you. The food is very diverse. 
but uh, what is very typical is the saise and the cangrejitos. To drink uh, you a lot of wine because it's the most delicious drink. drink. There. Uh, to conclude, Tarija is a various routes to visit and have a good time alone or with your family. Thanks for the attention. Yes, very good. Thank you. Claudio, what typical dish did, did uh, Richard mention? He mentioned two very important dishes coming from Tarija. What are they? Yes, Claudio. Yes, Claudio, can you, or maybe you can't speak? Okay, maybe he has technical problems. Let me ask Isabel. Isabel, what two typical dishes did, did uh, Jonathan mention? Two typical um, dishes from Tarija. He mentioned the food, uh, crabs food. For example, uh, the crabs, the crab food, and the house of wine. <laughs> yeah, he mentioned saise, and he mentioned uh, cangrejitos or crabs, as you said. Crabs. Okay, crabs, crabs. Very good. Next number is number seven, Dania. Dania, please, can you go? Good evening, teacher and classmate. Let me introduce myself. My name is Dania. I want to talk about Cochabamba. I live in Cochabamba. It is a big city. It is a really um, interesting and there are lots of things to do here. It is in the middle of Bolivia. The weather is very nice. Only it's cold in winter. The most important attraction is the Cristo de la Concordia and there are many places to visit. The people in the city is a very friendly and funny. The general people is uh, very happy in the city. The food is very delicious. Okay, connectivity problems. Thank you. Number one, Isabel. Yes, teacher. Your turn, please. Go. Okay. Um, my name is Isabel. I am a doctor. I work for travel because it's my hobby and I love the history. And the last year I traveled for Europe and visit five cities, no, five countries and many cities. But the most beautiful, I think, was France. And the most nicely and bigger city was Paris because I visit the Eiffel Tower and the Palace of Versailles and the House of Marie Antoinette. Uh, the French people is very gentle if you are gentle with them, but if you are um, oh. uh, 
Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Isabel, can I ask you a question? When did you travel to this city? I traveled the last year in February. No. In February. Yes. Mm -hmm. In February. Okay. Did you like the people? I really like the people because it's very gentle and they try to help you in any moment and try to understand you because okay. it's difficult um the okay. accent and people, people yes i know i understand people is always plural people try people are gentle people are polite thank you now next person please number four sandra rafaela Go, please. Yeah. Uh, good evening, friends. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Sandra Rafaela Chukichambi Ramos. Uh, I live in the city La Paz. I wanted to tell about the city of Oruro. And this city is small and lovely. It's really interesting thing, uh, and there are lots of things to do there. Mm, it's uh, in the middle of all country, the most important attraction, Virgen del Socavón. The people in this city are very friendly. The food is very delicious, and the typical tree Dish is cherke can. The typical drink is api. Oruro is prosperous city. I love this beautiful paradise. Uh, come visit it. Thank you for listening to me. Good. Uh, thank you. Very good, Sandra. Thank you for your presentation. Good. The next person is, let me see. Number two, Maria del Pilar. Good evening. Uh, my name is Maria del Pilar. I want to talk about Copacabana. It's a small town in Mancocapac province in the north of La Paz, Bolivia. This city is small and lovely. There is a lake, Calle Titicaca. It's one of the most beautiful cities in Bolivia. The water is cold. The most important attraction uh, are Cerro El Calvario, uh, Basilica Nuestra Señora de Copacabana, Orca del Inca, uh, Capilla Señor de la Cruz de Colquepata, Isla del Sol, and Isla de la Luna. The most important holidays are Fiesta de la Candelaria, Fiesta de la Cruz, and Semana Santa. The people in the city are very friendly, gently, beautiful, and keen. They like dancing uh, morenada in the holidays. They like from tourism and fishing. The food is very uh, delicious. The typical dish is trucha la diabla and ceviche. The typical drink is chicha morada and moco chinch. The typical cereal is pasancalla, which is toasted corn. Copacabana. Okay. Stop. Thank you very much. It has been very interesting. Good. Now, number five, which is here, Edwin. Um, good. Uh, good evening, my friends. Uh, first, let me introduce myself. My name is Edwin Flores Vilca. I am from Cochabamba, Bolivia. I want to talk about Cochabamba. The city, it is located in the center of the country. Uh, it's the most beautiful city in the Bolivia. It is called Garden City. Uh, their weather is very nice all year. 
uh, there are many tourist places to visit. For example, we have uh, the Cristo de la Concordia, uh, the Angostur Lagoon, the Corani Lagoon, uh, the Alalay Lagoon, the San Isidro Ecotourism Park, and many others. The people in the city are very friendly and very proud of your land and your food. The food is very varied and delicious. For example, uh, the chichazón, pique, silpancho, lapping, planchita, and many others. Uh, the typical drink is the chicha and, and guarapo. I like to drink uh, chicha and guarapo when I traveled uh, to Clisa or Punata. I love this oh. beautiful city. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Edwin. Cochabamba is really nice, honestly. I like the city too. Let me say, now there are a few people left. Okay, number 14. Number 14 is Claudia Allison. Claudia? Allison is here? Present teacher. Sí. Yes, okay. Um, oh, please, Claudia. Hello, my name is Claudia Allison Moyalosa. And I would like to talk about the Republic of China. The Republic of China is located on the Asian continent, exactly in Asia Central. The climate is key different from one area to another. Generally, the best time for tourists is April, September, and October because it's refreshing. Beijing is the capital of China and has um, a population of more than 22,000 inhabitants. In Chengdu, there are many centers for racing and carrying for pandas, as there they harvest bamboo. Pandas are in danger of extinction and are considered the representative animals of the nation. The typical dishes of okay, China stop. are... No? Yeah, stop, thank you. Very good. Yes, yes. Very good, Claudia. Claudia, no, that is good. Next number, please, number. 18, which is Daisy, Daisy, Wendy. Daisy, are you there? Yes. Daisy is frozen. Daisy has connectivity problems. Problem, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so next is Digna. Digna, please, <coughs> next. Go. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Digna Emerey. I am from Bolivia. I, I live in Cochabamba. Now they say they uh, buy it. They, they present uh, climate is very, very full. It has very ice. This is uh, such hospital <coughs> macho, uh, callo, uh, chicharrón. Uh, Chang, uh, Chik Changha, uh, with is uh, Yahuita. Uh, it's Pikemacho ingredient are uh, is fra, uh, fresh French, chorizo, meat, egg, uh, locote, and menus. Oh, how lazy. Uh, they typic uh, thing is chicha. The typical food is uh, rosquete, break, uh, break arani. Um, I am sure I will allow it. Is you can as visit. Uh, how are they the most uh, very full places? Uh, is uh, Cristo Concordia. You go is Wilkin O Teleferic. Okay, you can thank as visit. Thank you, Digna. Enough. One more than one minute. That is enough. Okay. Now let's see. Take number eight. Vicky Fernanda. 
Yes, teacher. Uh, good, good evening. Okay. Uh, good evening, friends. My name is Fernanda Flores Quisbet. I live in, in the city of La Paz, but today I would like to talk to you about Coroico. Uh, my father and my, my mother live in, in Coroico, so I usually travel to Coroico, which is quite touristy. Getting to Coroico, it takes uh, three hours. Uh, this place is really interesting because the climate is very pleasant, uh, because it's warm and it is never cool. Uh, the, typical big, the typical dish is uh, desayuno yungueño <coughs> that, that contains rice, meat, eggs, accompanied by a cup of coffee, and the typical drink is of or juice orange. In Coroico, there uh, are many attractive places, as uh, waterfall for swimming and hiking on the Uchumachi Hill, Cerro Uchumachi. And wow. you can also. Thank you, Vicky. I like, I like the place too. It's very interesting. Now, next number is number six. Comes Sergio David Gutierrez. Sergio, are you here? No, Sergio David Gutierrez is not here. I'm really sorry. So the next student will be. Uh, um, Daisy, you presented already, right? Yes. Fatima. Okay. Okay. Um, hi, good afternoon. My name my name is Fatima Vega Sarabia. I'm go I I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to tell you about the potassium. The Potosi is a Bolivian city, Bolivia city. In Potosi, there are many places to visit, such as uh, La Casa de la Moneda, Toro Toro, Thermal Waters, El Cerro Rico de Potosi, and many more beautiful places to see. The typical Potosi dishes are Calapurca, Chicharrón de Llama, Ají de Patasca, Chambergos, Chicharrón de llama, um, <laughs> el puchero potosino, Etsy. Potosí, it's on my favorite place, and I would like to invite to visit visit this beautiful place, city of Bolivia. <laughs> Thanks. Very good. Yeah, it's a very nice. Have you tried? Have you tried the calapurca? It's delicious. Yes, mm -hmm. next person, please. Next person. Here you are, number, the last number, 23. 23, Claudio. <coughs> Claudio. Your turn, please, Claudio. Ahora sí, teacher. Estaba yes. problemas. <laughs> okay, sí, sí. good. Muchas páginas. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, go. Okay, okay. Um, a ver, good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my, my, my first introduce myself. My name is Claudio Zambrana Fernandez. I want, uh, I live in, in country La Paz City. I from, uh, yeah, um, Coroico. Uh, my my opinion this city is not is not big lovely the, there's is a river next um is not interesting is under a lot things to there is not one the most beautiful city in bolivia it is um, middle of country. The water uh, is nice. Um, 
is never cold. The most uh, important attraction is no, is no, no, is no like. Stop. Okay, very good. Now, yeah, we have few people left. Gabriel. Okay. Um, good evening. My name is Gabriel. I want to talk about Sorata. Sorata is about three hours by car from La Paz City. It's a small town. Nice. There is a river next to it. Its water is warm. It's really interesting and there is a lot of things to do there, like travel to an old cave has three viewpoints. On Saturdays, it has a flea market on the main square. And it's near Igampu is, is, is now Cape. And the people in this town are very friendly and talkative. The typical dish, uh, dishes are fried snakes, chirimoya, and worms called tsukamas. And yes, they eat worms. And well, so, uh, Sorata, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful town with, uh, with, ni with nice landscapes. Um, if you visit Sorata, you will never regret. And thank you for listening. Yeah, good. I love fried snake. What is a snow cape? Uh, well, a snow cape is um, like a mountain covered with uh, snow. With snow, yeah. Mm -hmm. What is the most important snow cape mountain in Sorata? Uh, Ilampu. Ilampu, right? Yeah, a beautiful yes. place because there are hikes to the Ilampu. Excellent. Yes. Okay, now that is it. Daisy, the last one. Okay, go, Daisy. Hello. Daisy, Wendy. Hi, teacher. <laughs> yeah, go, please, now. Um, good evening, my friends. My name is Daisy Quispe. I want to talk about for Copacabana. This city is small and very beautiful. It is in the middle of Lake Titicaca. It is a tourist, religious, and cultural area like of Bolivia. It is in the Department of La Paz and is the capital of the Mancapac province. The climate is variable between hot in the morning and cold at night. The people of this city are very friendly and handle business. The typical food of the place is wheat, fruit, fish. They prepare a varied and delicious dishes. The most important attractions are La Isla del Sol, La Isla de la Luna, y La Capilla de la Virgen de Copacabana. I love the beautiful beaches of Copacabana. Thank you okay. for listening. Sí. For Very listening. good. Very good. Okay. Well, we have finished. Hemos terminado. Pero se darán cuenta, casi todos hemos leído. Entonces voy a esperar a que suban la presentación lo más naturalmente posible para saber que no están leyendo. Y con eso vamos a terminar nuestra última evaluación. Hoy es la evaluación como un zoom final. Y la evaluación final ha de ser repartida entre esta y la última presentación como un examen. La última presentación en Flipgrid por favor, háganla sin leer. Traten de no leer, porque es realmente... Si se han dado cuenta, leer es como leer un folleto turístico. No prueba nuestro nivel. Entonces, yo quiero que hablen con lo que puedan decir en, en el nivel que tengan. Yes, sir. Hola. Yes. <risa> no, no, agradecerle, teacher. Agradecerle, agradecerle. Es un curso inicial y, y bueno, estamos algunos, eh, no, no 100% por varios aspectos, ¿no? Pero 
no queríamos superarnos y tener un, un speech más, más fluido de inglés porque el, que el mercado ya, ya necesita, ¿no? Nada más, eh, teacher, gracias. le agradezco un montón. Y gracias a todos por Thank conocerlos y, y bueno, hasta la próxima. Teacher, por favor, Thank permítame you. despedirme. Gracias, yo le agradezco igual infinitamente y de manera muy personal porque usted ha sido muy atento en todos los requerimientos que, bueno, yo he tenido. Y pienso que me ha servido bastante, pero me gustaría avanzar un nivel más y qué, qué bueno sería si fuera con usted y ojalá también la EGPP. Eh, yo sin duda le voy a seguir escribiendo, teacher, porque yo todavía tengo algunas dudas y si, si usted me da la posibilidad a tiempo de agradecerle también, teacher, por toda su paciencia y su buena voluntad. Gracias, teacher. Yes, no problem. Pueden contactarme en cualquier momento. Estoy siempre dispuesto a ayudarles en, en todo lo que pueda hacer. Okay, thank you. Well, if that teacher, is all. Yes. Una consultita. Mm -hmm. eh, yes, sí, ¿no? Sobre inglés básico, después, uh, ¿se abre también en EGPP sobre inglés eh, intermedio? No he está, visto. Está en confección recién el curso. Eh, cuando saque la convocatoria, también yo les voy a avisar mediante el grupo y también va a salir a, 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 a través de las redes sociales seguramente una notificación. Indudablemente, los alumnos que están pasando por este curso han de recibir por todos los medios, la información en cuanto ya está en curso el, el nivel intermedio. ¿Ok? But you have to study. Study a lot, okay. please. Muchas practiquen, gracias, practiquen, Lee. Practiquen, practiquen mucho y no olviden que no se queda en el texto ni en las fotocopias ni en el Padlet. Eh, aprovechen bajar todo del Padlet si necesitan alguna cosa más, porque eso ya lo vamos a retirar. O sea, yo lo voy a retirar porque va a estar ahí sin motivo. Thank you very much. Teacher, una very, última pregunta, yeah, por yeah, favor. Yeah, 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 ¿Existe yeah, yeah. la posibilidad de que hayas reprobados? Claro que sí. Claro que sí, porque... ¿Y no nos si entregan hay... el certificado? Exactamente. Yo sé que algunos estudiantes necesitan el certificado, más que practicar también, yo sé, porque tienen algo de nivel, y el nivel básico lo hemos un poquito pulido, pero no creo que esas personas estén en riesgo pero sí las personas que no han asistido o las que por alguna razón no hicieron plataforma o se retrasaron mucho, obviamente no les va a alcanzar el promedio. Eso ya está fuera de mi alcance. ¿Ok? Yeah. Ok. Thank, Thank you, you very much. No problem. Gracias. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.